What is that in my lawn? What's up, everybody? Today we're going to be talking about something that's probably in your grass right now. It's called crabgrass, and it's not a weed. It's actual, actually an annual grass. It's an annual warm season grass that comes to life around my area near Chicago around this time of year, which is late July. Today's Monday, July 20th. So a few things about crabgrass. One, it germinates in the springtime. And like I said, it's an annual warm season grass. So that means it lives for one season. So it germinates in the spring. It really comes to life around July. It puts out seeds when the plant can get big enough. And then it dies at the end of the growing season. Those seeds the next year germinate in the springtime. They become new plants. So they only live for one season. What I'm sitting on right now is Kentucky bluegrass and perennial ryegrass. That's what's called a perennial grass. So that comes back every season. It never dies. It just goes dormant in the winter time. It turns brown, but then eventually it turns green and thrives again. So some things that we can do to take care of crabgrass. First of all, let's identify what it looks like. So the crabgrass looks like this. It's got the pointy top to it. It's got shallow roots when it's at this phase. So you can easily pull that out. But again, you can tell the top of it has kind of that boat shape. It's got the pointy top and it looks like a little boat. It just is more lime green than the rest of everything. So that's how you can really tell. Here's an example of some crabgrass that's a little bit bigger, a little bit more mature than the last that we saw. Again, you can see that it's more of that lime green and it's got the boat shaped leaves with the point on the tip. That's an identification of crabgrass. So what you can do if you wanna pull this out is take a look, push the grass back and look at the base of it. I can see right there, there's a couple different shoots. And if you just grab onto the bottom part and pull up on that, it's gonna take all those roots out. So there's one part right there. Here's another one. So if you, again, if you just grab at the base and pull up on that, it's gonna bring the roots out with it. Now this is really consuming time-wise and tedious, but like I said, I'd rather not dump a bunch of chemicals into the lake where my kids play and fish and do all that. So I take the time, I get up early in the morning and I come out and if I see crabgrass, I'll yank it out by hand. This is an example of crabgrass that's starting to go to seed. So they start off really small, they get bigger, and then eventually they get to the point to where they can reproduce. So it's like this plant is going through puberty. Hey buddy, what's going on? Uh, your mom and I just talked and we think now would be a good time to have a little discussion with you about some of the changes that might be going on. It's not gonna be awkward, don't worry. Is that all right with you? Oh, geez, I can't believe how big you've gotten already. Unbelievable. Um, yeah, so about those changes. So you're getting bigger, and along with that comes more responsibility, and I'll just cut to the chase. Uh, you're probably noticing some seeds that are growing in places where they weren't previously. That's nothing to be embarrassed about. Everybody goes through that, it's okay. But uh, yeah, so you gotta think, those seeds that you drop, any one of those could start a whole new plant, so you gotta take that into consideration. Now that you're becoming a full-grown plant, your mother and I discuss things, and uh, it's time for you to move out and all your buddies too, we gotta get rid of them as well. They've gotta go. When it comes to crabgrass, the best plan of action is to try to prevent it. And prevention is done in the springtime. Those seeds that are on the crabgrass plants right now, those are gonna turn into new plants next year unless I do something about them. So next spring, if I put down a pre-emergent, something like prodiamine, or you can put down a fertilizer that has crabgrass preventer in it, like Scott's Halt's crabgrass, Pennington makes one also. There's a few different companies that make preventative fertilizer and they have that pre-emergent that's gonna keep the crabgrass from coming up in July because it's a warm season grass, meaning it thrives in warm weather. So you don't really see it until the soil temperature gets to a certain hot point. If you already have the crabgrass and you wanna do something about it right now, there's a couple different herbicides you can choose from. If you have a huge area and you wanna kill it all off and maybe you've got a renovation coming up in the fall, you're gonna put new grass down, you can use Roundup and kill the entire area. It's gonna kill your good grass too, but that's an option of what you could do. Also, you could choose what's called a selective herbicide. If you just have some spots of it and you don't wanna kill the existing grass that you have that's established, you could use a selective herbicide like Ortho Weed Be Gone or there's a couple different ones that you can use. Tenacity is a good selective herbicide. 
There's some other ones also that you could choose from, but those are gonna kill the crabgrass right now. Hopefully you can do that before they get those seed heads that are gonna produce new plants for next year. The side of our house over here, as you can see, this creek, the side of the creek does not get much attention, so it is literally a crabgrass breeding ground over here. So we'll take a look. This is a full grown, full size crabgrass right there. Eventually that's what they look like. This is all coming from one big plant right here. I can pull that out. Whoa. So that's one plant right there, this huge crabgrass. So this is eventually what they look like if you don't take care of them. Thanks a lot for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time.